Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the more uh, hidden menu kind of options in solar uh, and explain what they do. Um, first thing I want to point out is I've, I've had a couple people ask me, you know, down here in the bottom right hand, left hand corner, it's really hard to see my location and I'm constantly changing back and forth between locations. But if you look up in the top right corner next to your name, it tells you right there what location you are too, which is a lot easier to read than the information down here in the bottom left. But if you click on the drop down there, you got some options here and I want to explain. So a new user will basically sign you out of Eclipse and but keep solar up and running. Uh, this allows people to get in and out of uh, solar clips a little bit faster than closing completely out and having to click on the icon where it goes through the update process and checks all the other things. So this is a little bit quicker way of signing out of solar and allowing other people to, to access it a little more quickly. Great for counter and warehouse computers. Lock solar. So let's say, for example, you had a sales order up that you were working on and you need to step away to go check something real quick. You may want to lock your solar session so nobody else can do anything with it. You can choose lock solar. Now, it just locks solar. The, anybody that walks up to the computer can still use the computer if they needed to do anything they wanted to, but your solar session is completely locked until you come back and unlock it. That's also another very handy feature for those people that work on counter and warehouse computers. Now you're not going to have the option of change user, that's an administrator um, feature, but you are going to have change printer and change location, and most people are going to want to change location. Now in previous version of Solar, you had to go over to your menu and choose system and then find change location, or you may have created a shortcut on your uh, a, a widget shortcut to change locations. But in this version of Solar, you can click on the drop down now and choose change location and you get your location menu here that pops up and you can choose whatever you need there. <clears throat> it's a little bit quicker and easier. And of course, if your location has multiple printers to choose from, you can hit change printer and choose between your warehouse or your counter printer or possibly your laser or, or your laser printer as well. <clears throat> um, my logged in sessions. So if you want to see how many sessions of solar you have open, you can click on that. And currently this is the only session I have that's open and it will show you all your different sessions that you have open. And of course uh, in a previous video I explained how to upload your uh, image profile, but you can remove it if you wanted to, or you can up hit change user profile image, and it looks just like the other screens, and allows you to upload a new image to replace your existing one. <clears throat> and then, of course, we have log out. Uh, I've seen a lot of people click on this and choose log out, but clicking the X to sign out of solar does exactly the same thing. <clears throat> Under the, the gearbox, uh, icon in the top. You have a couple of features there. If you know, remember from a previous video I, I did on how to create your favorites, I mentioned how when you sign into Solar, it automatically defaults to your favorites menu. You may not like that. You may prefer it to default to here. And that's where you take care of this is up here in the gearbox. You click on that and you uncheck where it says use my favorites when logged in. So if you uncheck that, when, when you come into Solar, uh, in the morning or load solar for the first time, instead of defaulting to the My Favorites menu, it's going to default to the main menu like this. You can also increase and decrease the size of the menu buttons. So if you maybe want to squeeze some more information on the screen, you can make this hit, uh, choose small menu buttons and you can see it kind of crunches it down and allows it to fit a little bit more on the screen. Uh, you can make them larger if you want to. Uh, large menu buttons. Uh, I find that to kind of be um, useful if you're using like a Surface, Microsoft Surface uh, tablet. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for you know touching with a touch screen. Now, I think that's the main purpose of that feature is kind of helping Solar be a little bit more touch friendly. And then uh, last but not least, uh, one of my favorite features in Solar is uh, the global search. And if you remember in the old version of Solar, it was over here in the right-hand corner. Uh, and 
people kind of ignored it over there. I think this is a better position for it right above the main menu. But just like in the uh, um, old version of Solo, this is a global search uh, field and you can search for whatever you want to. For example, I may want to search for business summary because I can't remember where that is in the menu structure and you can see that it found it for me and it would just be one click away. You can type in a customer name and it will go out there and show you all the different stuff under that uh, for, for this name there and you can see there's some orders that reference that but if I expand customers there's the customer file that matches that search criteria and you can type in uh, products as well <clears throat> and it will find products and take you straight into product maintenance and you can type in sales order numbers as you can see here I typed in a BR120 and it found me some sales orders out there that have BR120s on them so it's a great feature up there this global search you can click on the drop down uh, button right here next to the search icon and you can limit the things that you're looking for so by default it's going to search for everything but you could say I just want to, I wanted to return menu items only so you could choose menu or you could say I just wanted to return customers vendors or maybe products or orders and so it, it will instead of instead of uh, showing you results for all those different categories it'll just show you results for the category that you selected there and that does it thank you